I just tried to run the drill off my Jackery 240. That didn't work out. Everything out here is so dirty. I haven't shaven in days. There's parts of my body that I don't think I've wiped down in days. I seem to just like wash my hair, my face, my legs, and my arms in the river here because it's too fast running. I can't exactly jump right in it. And then uh, just been cleaning my little parts and stuff with wet wipes and sometimes hot water that's left over from making coffee in the morning. But I'm feeling grimy. Everything in my house has a fine layer of dust on it. Like I'm lying in bed last night. It's like, <laughs> I just feel it everywhere. Uh, Sandra put in a few hours yesterday. It was too hot to do anything yesterday. So I've been tinkering around this morning, getting some of the little tiny projects done paint wise that I've been wanting to do for a while. And one of those is painting this back section here. I have always just rattle canned it to make it look really nice and pretty. I never ever gave it the attention that it needed, which meant a full blown grind down to bare metal and then primed properly and then sprayed with a rock guard liner. So I picked this up from the parts store the other day. It sprays on really, really nice. And now I just pulled off all of the masking and I'm uh, pretty excited about it. Because this here takes a fair amount of abuse, whether I'm using this as a step to climb up on things or it's just the doors brushing against everything. Yeah, man, I'm pretty excited about this. This little thing is just a, uh... that was a bad mask job. Where'd it go, Chrome? Boom, there you go. I touched up all around the edges there. Yeah, it's looking really good. Good morning, Crazy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Good morning. <laughs> Just prime this, gonna give it a quick sand in some places that are visible. So on the bottom of my doors, there was a fair amount of rust, like all in this section. So I grinded it all out and then uh, put some of that rust mort rust converter on here. Gave it a good cleaning up this morning and a couple coats of primer. And just gonna give the primer a quick scuff to get any little bumps out of there. Then I'm just gonna bomb it with some white paint. And that fixed up a few of the few of the mess on the bottom of the door. There were some huge rusty chunks all over. Really, bro? Really? <laughs> What's with you every day? It turned out super nice in there. I painted the whole underside of the door. No more rust on here. That's all been grinded off. And uh, the only thing left is this trim. Um, there's a lot of splits and stuff in here. So I might, I might think about maybe getting myself some new door trim. Besides, I tried to wipe this off with a, uh, with a cleaner and I just can't seem to get the rust out of the rubber. So it might be nice just to have a nice, good, clean one. And uh, it would probably seal a little better. He's probably been in here since the day this thing, <laughs> this thing was purchased. Weird when you get into doing a project like this, you forget to turn the camera on. Yeah, this side turned out really, really well too underneath there. Look at that, it looks like a brand new van. This door seal is all split, but underneath it kind of looks, kind of looks fairly brand new. So yeah, maybe I'll go onto eBay or contact the Ford dealership and see if I can grab myself a, another set of trim. It's probably a good idea because I know my back door trim <laughs> lets in so much dust when we're driving down those roads. Ah, oh, look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. It's like blown right out. So dust just flies all over the inside of this thing. And down here on the bottom, you can see there's like a lot of this putty stuff. The door has a huge dent in it. So this was a delivery vehicle at some point and there's a massive dent there. So this didn't have anything to sit on. So I just, I glued the crap out of it when I first got the van. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the things that you do. So yeah, I think, uh, I think a set of door seals is definitely in our future. Man, there's some serious memories up here though. 
<laughs> that one's good. Bad is fun. <laughs> There's our one of our original stickers with me and Disco. It's been partially covered though. Widows Unite. There's my original Widows Unite sticker. Hold on. I don't think I see another one. Yeah. I can't even claim it. Right there is the original. Next thing I'm gonna tackle is uh, cleaning all of this stuff up because I would like to do the same rock guard on this piece. Because I wanna rock guard the entire bottom of the van once all the rust is repaired, I think I'm gonna bring it in over top of this lip here because, well, paint scratches easy. And because I'm in and out of this all the time and scratching and things, I figured maybe doing a little rock guard on here might make it a bit more durable. But the problem is, I have to pull this out, which means breaking the glue that holds, oh, it's kind of already half, it's already off. Who am I, who am I kidding? Look at it. <laughs> There's nothing holding this thing in. Okay, out, out she comes. There goes that piece. We'll put this under the van. Ew. Look at all the grossness. <laughs> Uh, but luckily that there's no rust on it, which is great. There's a little bit and stuff down there, which I'll put some of that rust mord stuff in on it. I'll pick all that stuff up. But other than that, all this stuff in here looks looks pretty good. I have a larger version of this, which is the 1500, uh, but it's back in my ambulance right now. This is coming in handy because we're trying to conserve fuel in the uh, generator because we're going to need lots of that once Sander comes back here today with uh the welder hopefully he comes back what time is it lunchtime noon sander why you gotta wait to the hottest part of the day you know what's really sad about this emmy's probably getting better solar production using those than i am with my 300 on the roof because all day yesterday that thing didn't keep up at all or at least her she could like tip it at the sun like directly at the sun over there okay so my 300 watts of solar right now is bringing in 130 watts 129 130 yeah what, what's yours bringing in me 110 right now and so. that's 200 watts there right yeah yeah so think about 200 watts you're bringing in but the same as me yeah and you have three i have 300 but mine are sitting flat which is pretty good though i'm actually quite impressed though and, and if you take a look at the sun, the sun's not above my van anywhere. It's way over there on the side angle. So it's, it's coming down at my roof at about that angle, not directly above. So those things need to be from directly above in order for them to be perfect. But one thing I will say though, guys, those can bad batteries I have in my van, I've been really impressed with those things. Brand new welder. And of course I had to label it all up nice and pretty on both sides. Heck yeah. Say, Cruzy, maybe you want to go jump in the river for a bit? You seem pretty cozy over here, though. Oh, you're actually super cool, buddy. We got ourselves a, uh, these lights I use for when I'm filming in the back of the van. Them set up. And we're running them off my little Jackery 240 because we have the van uh, battery disconnected because he's going to do some welding. Yeah, Jackery. Jackery for the win. Mr. Mouse, we got the show lit up for you. Come on out. We were just sitting here and a mouse came right out of that bottom little, little, rib thing there whatever you want to call it the body support thing mouse came out ran across here it was like oh crap went down went back underneath and underneath there <laughs> so just about there trim 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 back there from that. 
I'm making me and Sander a little bit of lunch. We got some sausages and this little teriyaki saute kit. Uh, Taylor Farms, man, one of my favorite saute kits ever. Emmy moved over to the spot beside us because she was sick and tired of us. <laughs> so Cruz and then we're all hanging over here in the shade. We're gonna take back her three big heavy battery. I don't need it anymore. Here's your Jackery battery, ma'am. Thank you. She wants a popsicle. I have that because I have a freezer. Luxuries, my friends. All luxuries. I'm curious to see if it's still like frozen. I think my freezer is struggling a little bit. Oh yeah, it seems to be frozen. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how fun that thing looks. Thank you. Amy has been a complete lifesaver for me out here because I'm stuck. I got no seats in my van. Floor is going in right now. I personally can't go anywhere. I haven't had a shower in a very long time and I'm surprised that that's probably why she's parked over there. You think she can't stay near Chrome anymore? <laughs> he smells so bad. But she's been a lifesaver. She went into town today. I gave her my bank card. Huh. I wonder what that bank statement's gonna look like. Maybe she went on a big shopping spree. Um, gave her me my bank card. She went down and she grabbed beer and she grabbed ice cream. And tomorrow she's gonna run me over to the next town because we need to pick up some more supplies and gas for the welder. But she has literally come by and absolutely saved my day for me. And the good thing about maybe going to town tomorrow is we're going like to town town, which means we'll probably drive by in any time fitness and I can have myself a legitimate, proper shower. Oh, heck yeah. We gotta clean up, I totally forgot. I'm trying to get in here and it's... Hey, let's get you cleaned up and then I'm gonna go down to the river and clean myself. This is a new routine, but we're we're in this routine until we're done out here, okay? Look at that, you guys, that's from Cruz. Cruzy, come on, bro. I don't even know why I'm doing this. We should just give up on this. <sighs> that's insane. I don't know why I continue. It just still keeps coming up. We're probably like, I don't know, like 10 wet wipes in and this is still coming off of them. Uh, you know what, I give up crazy, just go into the bed. I think this is just gonna continue to get worse as uh, the days go by out here. We've been at this now for four complete days and uh, tomorrow our beloved friend Emmy, thank you by the way Emmy, uh, Emmy's gonna take me down into town because we got to grab some supplies and stuff like that to kind of hold me over here for probably another week and I'm excited to get myself a shower but anyway guys I'm gonna let you go because I have to go down to the river and give myself a little a little wipe down uh, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.